Hey guys, Berinfos here and welcome to another GTA LCS 100% walkthrough video. Today we're gonna start the Salesman Challenges. We have two Salesman Challenges in the game. One of them is in Portland and the other one is in Stoughton Island. So the basic idea of these missions is to sell cars. You're a car salesman, you have to sell cars. The next mission, however, is for selling bikes. So, first of all we're gonna sell cars. Let's begin the mission. This mission is unlocked after dealing revenge for Vincenzo. And it is only available between 8 o'clock and 18 o'clock. Take one of the customers on a test drive. You have to work out what each customer is looking for in car performance. Then use their driving skills to show them that the car delivers exactly what they want. So that's all the explanation you need. Or no, it's not. So, what I do is go in this order. I go for this one first, then this one. Afterwards I skip this one and go for that one. And this is the last car I do. I have a perfectly good explanation of why I'm doing it. So let me show you. Each car is different, each customer is different. This first car is an off-road car, so you have to go off-road with this one. So let's go. I say the customer. And I'll show you what exactly you need to do. You have to go off-road. The closest off-road place is over here. What you do is do jumps. If you do many jumps, it's gonna increase the sale rating. The point in these missions is to increase the sale rating and make the customer buy a car. This is the best off-road car, by the way, you get different cars each time. But they are the same, the first one is of, of course is always gonna be off-road, the second one is gonna be different, a slow vehicle, and it's a sport vehicle, and the last one is a killing machine. Yeah, you're gonna see what I mean later. So do a few jumps, here and there, increase your rating a little bit, Reach for the sky, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna reach the sky. Also, make sure not to bump into... Mm, don't damage your vehicle, basically. If you damage your vehicle, you have to go to pen spray, and that's not pleasant. But you have to do it later on. So, this is it for the first customer. You have to do some jumping, and that is it. So, let's go back and take the second customer. Now, the second customer's car is slow you have to drive really, really slowly. This is the easiest car in the lot. So let's go. Some of these customers have hard conditions and you have to show them that this car drives slowly. But any car is gonna do the same exact thing because you can drive slow with any car possible. But whatever. Basically what I do is do one lap around this gas station. Don't damage the car again. I repeat that because if you damage it you have to go all the way to paint spray. And it's gonna waste lots of time. Okay, so that's it. Now this car is special. With this car you have to kill pedestrians. Killing pedestrians causes the police to chase you. And the police stays after a while, so... After you do this challenge with this car, the police is still gonna chase you. What you can do is go with this car to pay and spray. Going to pay and spray pen spray is still gonna increase your sale rating, but that's not advised by me, because first of all it's very far, you're gonna lose lots of time, and second of all, it's a lot easier with the second car on the list. So what you do is go with this car, and the challenge with this car, go back to the garage, to the sale lot, whatever it's called, and take this car. Now with this car you have to drive really, really quick. Let's go. And we have to not damage the car. Now driving quick with this car and not damaging it is really, really difficult. So what I'm gonna do, and what I always do, is go really quick, don't bother with the damage, and go to pen spray. That's why I told you that this car is perfect for this, because you wanna go to pen spray anyway, and with this fast vehicle, it's a lot better, it's a lot easier. And that's what you do. Going here is gonna fix your vehicle and also get rid of the cops. And you don't have to actually worry about damaging the car. And that's how I always do it. And I believe it's a pretty good idea in my opinion. I thought of it myself, of course. Like most of the things on this walkthrough, I thought of myself. And of course you will think of it as well because this challenge is so boring, it's sick six levels. If it was two levels, then fine, it's amazing, this challenge is really cool and interesting. But six levels, guys, it's insane. Drive slowly, don't damage the vehicle, 
And again we have the same exact thing. As you see, first of all, we have an off-road vehicle. I'll do, by the way, uh, two levels only in this video. And I'm going to show you the reward afterwards. Oops, I killed a person, that's not good. Do not kill people before you go with the killing machine. Which is the third vehicle I go for. Make sure not to damage the car, not to kill many pedestrians, because that's gonna be not so beneficial to you. It's gonna be a problem. Oh no, good, 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 awesome. Radical flip, man. Thank you, thank you. That's great. I increased the sail meter a lot. Basically do tricks if you see a bump, uh, a ramp or something, go for that too. But I go for this always, and it works out pretty good for me. And let's go back to the lot. And take the second vehicle. Again, we have to go really, really slow. As you can see, every single time we get a different vehicle. This time is a perennial. Is it a perennial? I'm pretty sure it's the perennial. And again, this customer has heart, heart conditions. Oops! There we go. This happens sometimes. You crash the car. Which sucks. So now what you have to do is repeat the whole thing again. It is really sucks. And it's not... <laughs> it just passed the time. Are you serious? In the later levels of the slow person, the slow customer, this could happen. They want the car sprayed. Which makes it a little bit difficult, but not by much. It's just a time sink. You have to go and respray the car. They want it in a different color. Now, with each level, it's gonna get a little bit more difficult. In level 9, which you shouldn't even go for, it's gonna actually start snowing. Yeah. It's gonna have snow falling from the sky. It's supposedly made that to make it a little bit harder, but really, it doesn't get that much harder. Later on, up, I beat up the car. That's fine. Also, there's some more things I forgot to mention. I'll mention them after I begin the next challenge. If you're doing the killing machine car when it's raining, this is gonna happen. Almost no pedestrians are gonna spawn on the street. As you know, in nighttime and when it's raining, pedestrians are really scarce on the map. And it's really difficult to find them. So, this challenge is a lot more difficult, especially if you don't have much time left to do. So, a thing you can do is save the game and come back, because if you leave the level, it's gonna return to the same level. After you quit the game, after you return, it's gonna continue with level 5, for instance, because I'm currently at level 5. And we are finally done. This stupid ass mission is done. I never have to do it ever again. Capital Autos is now under your protection, make sure to collect their payment regularly. And of course, I'm not gonna continue on. After level 9 I'm gonna get snow, but there's no point in snow. And that is it, the protection money is gonna be right over here, it's 4000 every single day. And the other reward is you get a car inside the shop. After level 2 you get a Kuruma, after level 4 you get a Sentinel, and after level 6 you get a Helenback GT, which is a pretty fast vehicle. So that's it for this mission, let's continue on with the bike salesman in Stoughton Island. Welcome back people, this is the Bike Salesman Challenge, it's located over here, in the second island of course, and it's a little bit different than the previous one, but the same aspects are here as well. Bike Salesman. Take one of the customers on a test ride, the same as before. You have to work out what each customer is looking for in the bike performance, the same as before, then use the riding skills to show them that the bike delivers exactly what they want. So, what I like doing is, this is a little bit different, you don't have to do levels, you have to sell 10 of each bike. So what I do is start from this one, continue on with this one, this one and this is the last and hardest bike. On the PSP version this challenge is extremely easy, extremely easy, let me demonstrate. So on the PS2 version you cannot do this. Look at the meter, just look at the meter, look at what happens. If you just drive over here, it is full in, in a matter of seconds. On the PS2 it is not like this. So as you can see we have more bikes and we have still 10 of each bike. So let me go again with the same one. 
What I do for this challenge is do one bike. When I finish with that bike, it's gonna disappear. After I do 10 sales, it's gonna disappear and we have to do the other bikes. And that's what I always do. Now if this was the PS2 version, this is gonna be a lot more difficult and a lot longer, it's gonna take a lot longer. What you do in the PS2, let me demonstrate what you do in the PS2. Go here, do this jump, do this jump too, as you can see it's already full, but on the PS2 it will not be full. So we do this, take another run up over here, and take the same jump again, go as fast as possible. This is gonna give you some more sale time, or some more sale numbers. And go back again, it's still not gonna be full, you have to return again, and do the same thing again. And that's how you do it on the PS2, but as you can see, it's extremely easy here. I love it. This challenge is usually annoying to pass, but if you are on the PSP, just do this, drive over here at a moderate speed, and there we go. If you haven't noticed, you have to go off-road. Because the Sanchez is an off-road vehicle, you have to go off-road. And this is it. What I'm gonna do is gonna, I'm gonna record 5 sales, and after the 5th sale I'm gonna pause the game, or pause the recording I should say, and complete 5 more. So, see you guys after I complete 10 of these sales. And we are done with the first bike. Here we go, 10 sales have been completed and it disappears, so we cannot do any more of this bike, but you can continue with the other ones. So this one is also really easy on the PS2, but on the PSP it's even more easy. As you can see it's increasing so mega fast, you cannot even do one lap around the, the block, it's that fast. On the PS2 you have to go a little bit longer, but still it's a very easy challenge, basically what you do is just drive around really, really slow. This is the slowest bike in the game, and there we go, already done. And you have to again do 10 sales of this bike. You can even go, let's go this direction, you can go in this direction too. Do this, do 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 do. Do one lap and there we go, we're done already. So yeah guys, this is extremely easy. Since I'm recording 5 uh, levels of each car, or bike, sorry. Let me show you that you can actually go here too. And it's even, I think it's a lot uh, faster. Let me try it again. Is it actually faster to go this way? Oh, it's gonna rain, that's bad. For the next challenge you're gonna need the fast, you're gonna need to go fast. And the rain is not gonna help with that. <laughs> so mega easy, I don't know why they decided to make it that easy. But there we go, I have to record, oh, I have to do 5 more sales for this bike. And last customer has been delivered. Thank you very much, that disappeared and we can continue with the other bikes. We have 2 more bikes, this is the second hardest one. What you do is go fast. On the PS2, you have to reach all the way over to the water, where a package is located. How can I explain it? Basically, till the end of the street, you have to reach all the way over there. But on the PSP, guys, it's so fast, so quick, I don't know why they decided to do this. It's ridiculous. On the PS2, it's ridiculous how many you have to do, but here you don't even feel that they're that many, because they go by so fast. Yeah, just look at it. Now, there's a reason why I'm doing this, these ones first before the other one. The last bike. The last bike is left for last. The killing machine bike is left for last. For a reason. I'll show you the reason later. Let me do two more of these. You don't actually need to see this, but... I mean, what is there to see? So easy. And on the PS2 I cannot give you any tips because you do the same thing. Just go even farther away and you're gonna pass it. And complete it. Okay. So let's return and let's do the rest on this bike. And I'll return when I do 30 total sales.
And sometimes that happens. And this is the last person for this bike. Now, if you fail this challenge, it's pretty problematic sometimes, especially if you fail at the last bike, because you're not gonna have much time left for this one. The only reason why I'm doing this one last is because I want to have lots of time. So what you do with this one is you run over people or just shoot them, whatever you wish, and if you shoot them, it increases your sale rating. You have to just basically kill people, shoot them, destroy vehicles, you can shoot vehicles if you want, and if it's raining you're gonna get less people, which is a problem. Now what you do after you get two stars, for instance, you have to go stupid sound. Uh, by the way, sometimes on the PSP version you get this annoying sound and the way to fix it is to pause the game and repo repause it. Yeah, uh, basically pause and unpause the game. It's gonna fix it. Now what I can do is finish up with these people. I'm gonna actually finish up with these people. Just kill a bunch more and return to the bike place. If you get two stars, however, there's a way to increase your sales even more which you also get rid of your stars. So, move, dudes. That's why I say this is a lot di more difficult than the previous ones. Okay, so what you do is go back over to the place like this. Stupid ass cops. Okay, and you get the bike. After you get the bike, you can go and get a bribe. If you take the bribe, it's gonna increase your sale rating. Or you could go to Pen Spray 2 which is also going to increase your rating. So what I do is the first time I go take the bribe, like this, and kill some more people. Also, if you just drive around on the sidewalk, it still increases, but very little. It's almost non-existent. So what I'm going to do is kill some more people like this, the old traditional way, the standard traditional way. Shoot some cars and whatnot, and like this. As you can see, if you shoot cars, it also increases, and there we go, it is done. Again, I'm gonna do five of these, um, of this challenge, and if we have lots of time left, it's good, because we're gonna need it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is go to pen spray. Basically, what the people want is to, for you to cause mayhem to the police. They want to see that you can actually escape from the police and you can actually kill people with the bike. That's what they look for a bike. I don't know what's up with these people, I mean, who would go to a salesman and say, oh, I wanna just kill people with this bike. Yeah, that's all I wanna do. So weird. And the police is gone, pretty much. I wait for these stars to disappear and then continue on with killing the rest of the people, because I don't want to do this at two stars. Come on, come on, come on. And there we go. Let's increase it even more. It's not increasing much, but it's something. Because it's still raining and uh, there's not many people around. You should not do this if it's raining. Sometimes it's very annoying because they don't spawn much. So I guess I'll do only three of these, or two, I guess. Yeah, and also if you just drive around, it's still gonna increase, but not as much. So, yeah, if it's raining, you can do that. With the car salesman, this is not possible, you have to kill people. You cannot just drive around. But here, that's a viable option too. On the PS2, you pretty much cannot do that, because it's increasing way too slow. So yeah, basically, just kill people, run over people, shoot cars. What you can also do is get a bulletproof vehicle and just shoot that. It's not gonna explode and it's still gonna increase your rating. And I'll be back once I'm done. And this was my last customer mission has been completed. You're gonna get 3000 bucks from here from time to time. And that's the only reward you get. You can continue doing this challenge but what's the point? So with this I end this video guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.